Okay, something was sitting right here. Right, and there's a, there's like a crater right, right, and there's a hole. There's some, I'll show you, there's some, there's some other stuff on the back side. Something was sitting here, and you can just see where it's been snapped off, broken off or whatever, rotted off. That's what's going on here. There was something sitting right here. I'm gonna get a little closer. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. This is a tendon just like the one over there. It's all torn apart and only pieces of the left here with a transition down there buried in the bottom. So I'm gonna try to get up in there and show you what I mean. Well, here's where I could really use a drone. Boy, look at the pink, the red rock right over the pink. Tide's coming in now, so anyway, this thing's set up in here. It's all snapped off now. It's not there. It's just missing. I think you'll get the idea of what I'm saying. It should look like that one over there and those two maybe, but it's not. See that? It all goes up and it's gone. That piece is gone. Oh, this is so bitching. Sorry, I'm excited. When you start getting mud fossilized, you'll never see this earth again the way it is, ever. It's, I, I just, in fact, I can't stand geology anymore. It actually makes me want to puke. It's such a lie. I mean, I can, it's so obvious. Look at that. The rest of it's gone. The rest of it that was sitting right in here is gone. Okay, I'm not going to, I wish I had a drone, but I'm not going to crawl back in. But there's the back side of it back in there. So it circles here, and, but that's what's going on here. It's just busted off. It's not here no more. Look at that. Boy, look at that. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to, hopefully I don't get trapped in here. I'm going to try to walk back in here so you can kind of get an idea and stand up on this thing. Maybe I can get an idea. Give you a better idea. I think you're getting the idea now. So I'll be back. I gotta put this away so I don't fall down, break the camera. Okay, I've crawled up on top of it, and that's what's going on. It's all busted off. I'm up, I'm up on top of the one piece that I was in front of, but that's what's going on. There used to the tendon used to set here, the rest of it, and it's not here. It's rotted off or whatever may be going on. Look how pink that is down in there. Holy cow. Let the tide go out. Let the surge go out and I'll show you some red. Look at that down in there. Purple. That's purple down there. Holy cow. Let the sun's on it too. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, bitching. Oh my god. I'm going to have to get out of here in a minute. Yeah, I don't like this. That came in fast. I'm waiting for this surge to go out. I don't want to show you this pink because the sunlight's on it. Or purple. This is what I'm seeing all the time. Look at that purple. Oh, wow. Holy cow, I'm out of here. All right, that's enough for me. Look how red that is. That's what this is, a tendon. This is a cotton picking tendon. I'm sorry, I'm excited. Look at that. It's busted off. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. Okay, here's another angle on that from this side. It's so obvious once you get over here. You can see right there where something, it used to sit right there just like that one down there and now it's gone. It's uh, all laying on the, the rest of the skin or whatever, but I'm gonna rock over here and take a look at some of this stuff. All right, we got some more good stuff going on here. Our transitional changes. Just one, and then knowing that, but here's a really good spot to show you the flesh. That's flesh, skin, that's sloughed down around this, on a decaying carcass. That's what that is. And the red, the different colors you see in there, those are transition metals settling right in there. But look at this. This is really cool. This is probably what's going to be inner 
this is going to be your skins, your kale and clays in here. The darker, and then the lighter tan, and then up there, and then you got the tannin material here itself. Really good spot to show you what's going on. You get all this right here. This is some of that material, that fossilized stuff in my last video. And you got this right here. That's a totally different material protruding out of it. You see that? Oh, this is a good spot to show that. This layering here. Look at that. And you can see it pretty obvious there. That's inner stitching and skin. And that's inner stitching underneath the skin. And that's the skin on top. This is the tendon. Really good spot to show this one. Whoopsie, you gotta pay attention where I'm walking. <laughs> Doing video and not walking where I'm watching, I just stepped in a whole bunch of water. Did you get that on film? No, I didn't get that far. I should have fell in, huh? Now here's another spot. I'm gonna turn the camera off and show you something here. I like it when it's like this because I'm able to walk over here and go like this and get an angle and we can see what actually looks like inside. I can't get over there because of the, the water. This is a tendon. Or part of it. It's so cool because I got the skin lane right here wrapped around everything. Got more of the tendon here and more of it there. And then the skin that's left down in it. I'm going to go look at that one next as soon as those people move. Yeah, this is, this is all tendon material, I believe. And a lot of it's eroded away, snapped off, whatever it might be. There used to be something sitting on top of here. You can see how that's protruded out. Whatever was there is gone. That's protruded out. Whatever there was gone. And of course, those on top, they've come off. So, uh, it's so obvious now to me. That's, a, that's what's going on. It's missing the top part of it, so... Yeah, you can see how it just it kept going. Now it's gone. Whatever was there is gone. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video. I believe this is all in your stitching and stuff like that laying on the beach here. That stuff there. All this stuff. Kale and clays. And I'm going to take one more shot of that over there to show you the skin going up to the tendon. That's just all sloughed down. I can get a good view from over here, so I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to... Go look for some mud fossils up some drainages I see. All right. Okay, here's some more. Yes, that is what that is. This, this is, this is the main body. I'm standing on the main body of the creature. That's what this is. And look at this type change right here. And then you go into the clays, the skin. See this? That's what this is. This is part of a. Look how it's all little square blocks. Um, what do you call that? Uh, I can't remember what Roger calls that. It's all in little segments, all blocks. That's how everything's are. That's how things are designed in blocks, biologically. So I believe that's what's going on here. That's what this is. Look at this. Look at this. That's what's going on here. We're on the creature. Okay. Look at this protruding out from the. Look at this thing. I didn't even see this when I walked by it. I got the thing tripod in my way. Okay, I try that again. I had to put the tripod down. Look at this thing. That's exactly what that is. That's that's the main body of the creature right there. I'm gonna walk. Look at this coming right out of the ground. I'm walking on top of it, and it goes right up into there along the seawall. That's what that is. Look at the type. Look at the change from that into this. And this solid rock. That's what this. We're standing on the creature. I'm standing on the creature. Look at the red in here. Those are transition metals, I believe, settling in the skin, whatever it might be. And that's interstitching. All those small pebbles, rocks. That's underneath the skin. 
That's what this is. This is the skin that was on top of the creature and it's collapsed down. It used to set up there and now it's collapsed down. And that's what this is. This is all skin. Sand is skin. All this right here. You, everybody going to the beach playing in the sand? You're playing in Leviathan or Dragon or Titan skin. That's what it is. It's skin. Everybody's going to have to get over it. That's what it is. Let's move on in this crap. I'm sorry. It's, it gets old after a while. It's so obvious now that geology is biology. I can't get up there. It's too slick. But look at the type change here. Okay. I'm going to head over there and get another angle. But this is really cool. That was really cool. I didn't even see that coming over here. It's just jettisons out of the ground like a wall. Kind of makes a corner here and boy. And that turns into this material. Totally different. See that? Totally different type change. Are you kidding me? This is not geological uplift or none of that garbage. That don't exist. Tectonic plates, all that. It's creatures. It's creatures we're living on. Okay? So if you're watching this video, you're living on a creature. I really want to get up on there and show you the layers of that and the colors lots of reds and blacks on top of this solid chunk which is the body of the creature the leviathan dragon whatever it might be i go with job chapter 41 in the bible god talking about a a dragon himself so that's what i stand my ground on okay Okay, this is a really good side shot that I can get of that that tendon there with the skin. It's still sloughed up to it right there. The skin used to be way up here. Um, the muscle would have been connected here with the transition. Skin up here. And after it's all rotted and decayed, it's all just sloughed down. And the skin's laying there up against the tendon. Transition on the bottom. I believe below us would probably be the bone. Transition to the bone somewhere. I believe what that's what that is we're fine I'm finding a lot of but that's what I see right in there that's all skin skin it's all sloughed down and rotted like on an animal that's been laying in the ditch for a month you know if anybody's ever seen a carcass that's decomposing that's exactly what it looks like that right there just the skin all sinks down and the tendons of the bones stick up all right I hope that helps explain everything and I'm gonna wrap this video up and I hope everybody has a great day and stay tuned for more mud fossils discoveries that I can find and go out and bring to you and you don't have to go out and find them yourself and we're all learning in this go to mudfossils.com mudfossil university roger spur to learn more thank you and have a great day bye bye now okay I'm up on top here I was down in the hole down there looking at that one this one here with the skin running right up to it that's why I want to come up here and show you it's actually a ramp the skin would have been up here and just slid, just sloughed down here now with the tendon sticking out. And look how this runs right up there at an angle like that. <laughs> and it's not geological uplift. Uh, crying out loud. It's funny, I ran into like three biologists down there today and I just wanted to say, hey, do you guys know what you're looking at? But I didn't. Wouldn't have done no good. Just keep thinking it's a uh, molten rock. If everything, if everything was molten at one time, how come it all looked all the same like lava? That's my question. It had to be at least 5,000 degrees to melt it all. And it would all look the same because everything would be burned out of it. All the trace minerals, everything. We'd all look like, it all looked like lava. That's because it's not true. That's why. I was just down in there a little bit ago. But I want to go over here and show you the skin. See that? That's the skin. That, this is the skin right here. All this is the skin. And it's just sloughed down. This is all skin right in here. That I'm standing on, walking on. Look at that. It just runs right up there. That's skin. 
that's what that is and that's another tendon or part of it these two might have been connected at one time I'm not sure because of that sitting in there this might have ran over and this might have been one big tendon because that one leans towards that one and that one leans towards this one so this might have been one whole tendon right here I'm not positive I know this stuff is all connected somehow because the way the angle is and that's broke off that goes up like that and it's not there that one goes up and it's not there something was right here something came out of this piece right here something came up out of here something was protruding and connected to all the rest of that you see that and connected to this and connected to that and connected on over there this was all connected together one I don't know if it's one huge tendon one huge muscle on top and this is the skin I don't know but with the angles and, and all this stuff going on right here there was absolutely something sitting on top of this and if you can't see that well I don't know <laughs> I don't know what to say I can't help you any more than this so that's what's going on uh, I figured I and in my opinion and I have a very strong I think I'm right on this one I really do I believe that's exactly what this is. This is all skin. I jump over this, but I probably go to jail these days. It says don't get over there. No climbing. Does that mean me? <laughs> I'm going to obey the law today. So that's what this is. I really don't want to. I want to jump over there. But this is all, look at this. This is all skin. It did set up on here. Now it's all down here after it rotted. Look at the reds in that. Jeez, look at all the red in there. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over this anyway. What the heck? If I don't get this video going, it's because I went to jail. Okay, we're on the wrong side of the fence now. We're where the sign says don't go. <laughs> okay. That's this is all skin. This is all skin. This is what I'm down inside the skin. Look at this. And there's all this tendon material. And that there's more of the interstitial lane on the beach. I was just down there doing that video on that haystack or that tendon. See, that's all, it's all, it used to be more on top of it. It's all eroded off and not sitting there no more. See the pile sitting there of the, of it? And that's what's happened. A lot of it's just missing and piled up on the ground. But I wanted to show you. Well, it's, don't fall off this. Look at this red over here, transition metals and that. I should have walked up in there. I'm not supposed to be here. But that skin, going right on up. I know I keep saying that, but I can't stress it enough. That's why I'm saying it. So the people start getting this. This is biological. That's all skin there, tendon, tendon, tendon. The seawall right here, that's all skin. The beach, all eroded skin. That's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I think I said that a minute ago too, and I'm going to call it a day and head back home and it's going to take a while to put some videos together, but I got some videos coming, probably three, maybe four, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Peace out. Stay tuned. Mudfossils.com, Mudfossil University, Roger Spur, for more information. Peace out and have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye now.